Gaming Trader. Today in this video, I would like to discuss about uh, everything about my internship. So how did I get my internship and what exactly I'm doing there and uh, is it paid or not and uh, yeah, so all those things I'll be discussing in this video and uh, I hope you will find this video helpful and hopefully if you want to go for internship or anything, you'll be able to find one. So yeah, this is all uh, I will discuss in this video and uh, also uh, it's been a while i haven't made a video because i was quite busy with uh, many other things uh, one of being is house hunting so i am shifting from this place to another place uh, within the new castle itself uh, but yeah i'm just changing my house and uh, you will see a sort of uh, setup change and anything but then it will still be boring as this one <laughs> but yeah it is it is what it is uh, but yeah i will try to make it interesting uh, so that you guys will like videos even more but then i think information is the most important part uh, and that's what i focus on more rather than focusing on many other uh, things in the video so yeah i hope you don't mind and also uh, one more thing uh, i have been getting many emails from many different institutes and companies uh, to collaborate with them and all but uh, the thing is if I am trying to do some paid promotion or anything, I think I will not be able to uh, give my true opinion on that. So that's why I haven't taken anything. I mean, if I wanted to make money, obviously I would have taken all of them and probably I would have said some good things about all the courses. Uh, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, I just want to give my uh, frank opinion on a course. How is it? And is it good or not? Is it worth uh, taking or not? So yeah, uh, that's why I'm not taking any paid promotion. But what do you guys think about it? Um, should I take it or not? I mean, if, I'm very open to your opinion because uh, you guys are helping me to keep this channel running. So uh, yeah, uh, your opinion does matter. So do let me know in the comment section uh, what are your thoughts on that and how should I proceed with that? Uh, it will be really helpful for me to understand what do you guys think. So yeah, with that being said, uh, let's start our video. But as always, if you are new here or if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Kettle family. And also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you end up liking this video. So yeah, with that being said, let's start our discussion. So first uh, thing, uh, how did I find my internship? So I was in a meetup where there was talk uh, related to some data science stuff. Uh, statistical things uh, how to use statistics in finding things when enough data is not there or data is not there at all so we do some statistical inter uh, inferences and stuff and then we decide will that move be a profitable or not so the talk was on that and i was really interested in on seeing that because so far uh, i have been doing stuff where data is available and training my model and then my model is uh, predicting what will happen and based on the past experience it, it is learning but then learning something like uh, statistical inferences and stuff like that it was very interesting for me so i went to that meetup and then the head of uh, national innovation center of aging came there and uh, he explained what he is doing and if uh, any of us are interested in that uh, we can join their talk and uh, we'll see where we can go further so on the very next day there was this event where many uh, old people came and they were uh, telling their experiences what they are doing right now and the things which they are doing how it can be helpful for future generations so it was quite interesting and then i had a talk with him and i got to know what exactly he's doing and what exactly he's planning to do with the all, with all the data that he has and it was quite interesting to me so i ended up uh, uh, telling him like i am very much interested in that and uh, he was uh, kind enough and generous enough to let me work on it so that's how i got my internship uh, through a meetup so i highly suggest you guys to go to meetups and make really good connections and try to see if you can find something of your interest so that's how i got my internship uh, next is next is uh, what exactly am i doing in my internship so my part in the whole project is that uh, generating synthetic data and then once that is done uh, moving to generating personas from that data so that's what my part is so but the first I'm, for, for now I'm focusing on the first part generating synthetic data um, you might you guys might have know if you are into data science and machine learning and deep learning stuff you might already know about GAN so generative uh, adversarial network so but most most people are using GAN for generating images and stuff but 
what my task is to generate tabular data so for that i will have to modify the architecture of gan so that's why i always tell you guys programming is very important and you need to know data structures and stuff because it's not like everything is available in the market sometimes you have to change things as per your use case so that is again very important point to note in this video uh, so yeah uh, i will have to modify gan architecture so that it works for uh, my use case and there are many other things like uh, sdb is there so there are many packages which you can use uh, but then for my and also my internship is my dissertation as well so i am using uh, my internship project to uh, put it in my uh, dissertation so i cannot just use some packages uh, and do those synthetic data generation and then give to my university that okay my dissertation part is done uh, so no that i cannot do so i need to actually write code for uh, making different type of uh, net uh, deep learning networks so yeah that is uh, my part in internship but uh, i need to also make sure that um, the data which i am generating synthetic data it has very high correlation with the original data because i don't want to lose the consistency of the data um, when we are making a synthetic data because we will be using that data to generate uh, personas we will be using that uh, data to train our machine learning model to predict what people will be doing so this is a behavioral data so based on the data we have to predict uh, what people will be doing uh, at a certain point of time in a day so yeah that is the goal of the whole internship so it's quite interesting i am really loving it and it's very fun to do and this is something i really wanted to do because i also like psychology and stuff so it has very close relation with uh, that part and also other thing that i really like is data science stuff so i have best of both worlds so that it's a it is it's a really great opportunity for me so yeah uh, that is what i am doing in my internship and uh, now we will move on to uh, is it paid or not and how much i'm getting paid so yes it is a paid internship and i'm getting paid uh, 11.96 uh, pounds per hour so it's good enough to uh, manage household things and uh, you can manage your expenses in that amount so it's good um, and uh, the most important thing is after joining uh, internship i have met uh, many people from var various different backgrounds so that is a very important thing because you get to see people from different backgrounds and their perspective on the same problem how they are approaching that thing because there are few people who are not really from coding background but then they are solving that exact same problem in their own ingenious way which is phenomenal i mean i really liked it i mean i have seen some of the Uh, work that they have done uh, on sheet of paper it's beautiful and it's really nice and if we can achieve that same thing from our code data science knowledge and stuff it will be really amazing so yeah it's always nice to meet people from all the all the various uh, backgrounds uh, because you will get uh, different ideas you will get different uh, uh, different motivation to do things so yeah i would highly suggest you guys to uh, make good connections and it's not like you can make good connection only by joining internship and stuff you can always uh, you can always uh, have you can always go to meetups and stuff and you can always uh, search for people on linkedin and uh, probably you can share information there as well so yeah and if you want to join me on linkedin again link will be in the description you can always connect with me on linkedin and we also have our telegram group where people discuss about various other things so you can join telegram group as well there probably you will be able to make very good connections because many people are coming for masters and uh, if you are also coming for master probably you will be able to find someone from who is going to your university which you are going to or maybe even if they are from they are going to some other university you can still connect with them and you can share ideas and even after you start your masters you can always uh share ideas in the group or, or again you can if you want to talk about any topic or anything you can always ping me on uh, linkedin as well i'll be very much open to share my thoughts on that and it will be good for me as well i think because i will be able to gain some more knowledge from you so yeah and uh, if you have anything other uh, which you want to know you can always ask me in the comment section i am uh, i i tend to reply to all the comments because i think uh when i get questions on linkedin in personal message i will be able to help only one person but then if you are asking in the comment section and if i answer your question 
it will help a lot of people because people will if people scroll through comment section and they see what they wanted to know and they will get to know and even if that question didn't come to their mind and they will read that question they will be like oh this is really insightful so it will help other people as well so you're not just getting your question uh, answered you are actually helping the community so that's a good thing and like i said i don't take really any paid promotions on this channel so i think you will be able to find a uh, thanks button in the comments i mean this is a new feature on my video i'm on my channel actually i didn't have it in a long while so if you are inclined you can always uh, support channel by donating whatever you want and if you don't want that's totally fine i don't really i don't really ask for that all you can do is just watch the video maybe give it a like that's all just to motivate me to make a uh, more videos like that uh, so yeah this is what i want to discuss in this video and i hope you found this video helpful if you did you know what to do uh, subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon all those good things so see you in the next video bye happy learning